Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with Mr. 707. And today is a very special episode because today we finally get to show off our water treatment plant that we've been building for our distribution class. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So first things first, this is uh, City Hall. This is the building that we are providing water for. And so let's head inside. And this, actually, we may be able to get to see it better from up here. So this is our water treatment plant. As you can see, the water is drawn in from the Notch River, where it is drawn in through the bar screen into this ductile iron pipe, where it is treated with chlorine and alm which is used as a coagulant. It is then sent into the flash mixer, where it is, just as it is said, it is flash mixed, um, mixing the chlorine and the alm together, where it is then sent to the flocculation basin, where the water is agitated with a series of paddles, but in this case, we're using pistons, to gather all of the particulates that are in the water with the alm, because we're trying to get all of the stuff in the water to get touched by the alm. That way, so it begin to flock or clump together, right? Where it is sent to the sedimentation basin, where the flock is allowed to settle as the clean water is skimmed off the top through the launders and weirs. And that good clean water is then sent to the multimedia filter, which is made of andesite coal, sand, and gravel, and it is then disinfected, there's a pump underneath here, with more chlorine where it is sent to the clear well, and it is stored for uh, later use. Um, the plant has a max flow of 328,000 gallons, but usually only operates at about 10,000 gallons. So, and then also, Security is extremely important when it comes to our water, so there's no way to get to this, all with the fences and everything. So for the purposes of today, you're going to use a combination lock. Now, once I flip the switch, there's no way to get in from the outside. So we are completely safe from any potential uh, outside threats, whether it be person or otherwise. Now, <clears throat> immediately when we get down here, we see the wiring for the flocculation basin. So what we'll do is we'll put an item in these hoppers and then it will oscillate the signal so that these pistons will operate and then the pistons on that side will operate and that will agitate the water. <clears throat> so let's head in here and this is the control room. We have the pre-CL2 and the ALM pump is right here. Right now it is in the off position. Same with the uh, post CL2, the disinfection CL2 pump is also off. And the flocculation basin and flash mixer are also off right now. And these, um, these here are little note blocks. That way, so when there is a power switch, it will give off an actual audible tone. And that way, so if you are above and you actually aren't, you know, you can't see the lights, you don't have line of sight, you can hear if something were to happen. So here's our ductile iron pipe where the water is brought in. Got a little bit of a leak going on. Now here is our chlorine room. So we have chlorine in here, which is being represented with the glowstone dust. And our alm, or coagulant, is being represented by the white sugar. And that is wired to this timer here. So we can put a stack of blocks in here, and then once the stack of blocks is through, It'll send a signal to this block here to move over, where it will then spit out one bit, one little bit of dust of sugar and one little bit of dust of the chlorine. And that way, so it's not constantly dumping it because it has to turn back off and then turn back on again. And that takes about four or five minutes. <clears throat> so here is our PPE. This is our chlorine protective suit in case this chlorine tank, this one ton chlorine tank were to somehow rupture. We could throw this on um, to protect ourselves. And then this is our diving suit that we would use to go into the clear well 
or even the sediment, uh, the flocculation basin sedimentation um, basin or the clear well. Now, since you have to watch out for chlorine in case there's a spill, we have a, an emergency ventilation system where we can flip this switch. It opens up the door. It allows fresh air to be drawn in and the heavier chlorine gas is going to get sucked out the bottom. Um, you know, ventilating the room, protecting ourselves, but then chlorine is exceptionally corrosive. So you have to make sure you get it off of you. So we can come in here where we have our emergency wash station. You can get all the chlorine off of you. And just like that, you're safe. So now that um, we've got that, let's go ahead and head outside and we'll give you a basic... Um, I know we gave you sort of a basic tour up there, but we can give you a more in-depth uh, tour here, and then we can actually show you how everything works. So, like we had just said, this is the bar screen, um, you know, designed to keep the big foreign objects from entering the plant. And here is our ductile iron pipe, where it is chlorinated and pre-treated with, or chlorinated and treated with alm. Here is the flash mixer. And then this is our sedimentation ba or flocculation basin, which has a volume of 18,000 gallons. And we can head over here. And then this is the sedimentation basin, which has a volume of 77,000 gallons. And here are the launders, where it's getting the good clean water off the top. And here is our multimedia filter here. And this is our clear well which we need a confined space permit to enter, which we, so we will not be entering that today. <clears throat> so, oh, and the clear well has a volume of 50,000 gallons. So let's head back inside and we'll actually show you how everything works. So let's put a stack of blocks in here. And then once all those blocks go through, see how they're counting down, it'll move over and then it will send the chlorine and the coagulant into the flash mixer. So then we can place a block here. And now that is having the flocculator run. And as you can hear, flash mixer's on. We've got this nice steady tone. And right now the CL2 and the arm pump is on. Flash great. And there is our chlorine and our coagulant. And here is our multimedia filter. Like I said, we've got the anticyte coal, sand, and gravel. And then the water is drawn out from underneath where it is treated again with more chlorine, which is in here. And then it goes out to our clear well. And this is where uh, the lazy operator gets to sleep once all their hard work is done. So right now, the disinfection pump is not on yet, but there it goes. So now the disinfection pump is on, the pre-chlorinator pump is on, and the flocculator pump is on, and we are creating good and clean water. Just like that, it is that simple. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. I really appreciate you stopping by today and checking out this video. If you have any questions about water, please feel free to um, leave a comment below. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid to drop a like or subscribe. And we will see you all in the next episode.